Once upon a time, four boys lived in a village. They were best friends named Adam, Mike, John, and Robert. They were all poor but dreamed of having a better life filled with riches. One day, Adam heard about a wise sage who possessed great knowledge and said to his friends, We should go to the sage and learn his secrets to help us become prosperous. They plan to go to him for knowledge. When they reached his small hut, they found that he was sitting in meditation. After a long time, the sage opened his eyes. He saw the four boys kneeling in front of him in reverence. He was very pleased. My children, what brings you here? He asked. We have come here looking for knowledge. We want to become rich with its help. So we can be successful. Adam replied. The sage smiled and thought. They don't understand the true meaning of being prosperous. The sage said, I will give you a boon that would make you rich. But before that, I will teach you the use of wealth. If you agree, you can become my disciples. The four boys readily agreed. The four boys settled into the sage's hut. And each day began with chores. One morning, they gathered outside. And ready to start their tasks. Who is on sweeping duty today? Asked Adam, stretching his arms. I can do it. Replied Mike, grabbing the broom. I will make this place shine. Just don't forget to sweep under the mat. Teased John with a smile. Last time, we found a stash of crumbs. Those were treasures. Laughed Robert. Who was busy washing a pot at the nearby stream? We could have opened a restaurant. With all the food we have found. Speaking of cooking, who is making breakfast? Mike asked, dusting off his hands after finishing his sweeping. I will handle the cooking today, said Adam, rubbing his stomach. I'm in the mood for some delicious porridge. Great! I will gather some berries from the bushes. John offered. They will make the porridge taste amazing. The sage appeared in the doorway, observing them with a smile. You boys are doing a fine job. Remember, true knowledge comes not only from what you learn but also from the tasks you perform together. Thank you, sir. The boys said in unison, filled with pride. Every chore teaches us something new. Robert added, finishing off the last dish. And working as a team makes it fun. The sage nodded, Pleased by their enthusiasm. Keep this spirit, and you will learn the value of wealth in ways you cannot yet imagine. 
Soon the sage taught them many things. When they had learned enough, he called them and said, I think you can now use wealth wisely. I have some flowers here. Take them with you. Keep them in a bag. Go in the north direction, and wherever they fall down, dig there. And you will find wealth. The boys were very happy. They thanked the sage and left. After walking for some time, Adam suddenly saw that his bag was empty. The flower had fallen off somewhere. They retraced their steps and found the flower lying on the side of the road. They started digging there. They found copper coins underneath. Adam whose flower had fallen down said, There is enough here for all of us. Let's distribute it among ourselves and go back. But the others disagreed and said they wanted their own flowers to fall down. Adam returned home while the others went on. On the second day, the second boy Mike's flower fell down. When he dug there he found silver coins. He, too, offered to share them with his friends. But they disagreed and went on. On the third day, the third boy John's flower also fell. When he dug there, he found gold coins. He said to his friend Robert, At last we have found gold. You take half of it, and I will take half. Of course not. Our first friend found copper coins. Our second friend found silver coins. And you have found gold. If I go on, I will surely find gems. I want to go on. So saying, Robert continued on his path. After some days, he reached a desert. He saw a man standing there on whose head a wheel was rotating. He was very surprised. Why have you got that wool on your head? He asked. Suddenly, the wheel flew off from that man's head and landed on the head of Robert. He screamed with pain. Ouch! What is happening? Finally, I am free. That man said. This will came on my head. When I came here looking for wealth. This is the punishment for being greedy. It would only be removed when someone greedier comes here. So saying, the man went away. Robert cursed himself for his greed. But now he could not do anything. Moral Greed can cause problems. Be thankful for what you have and share with others.